With COVID-19 testing and treatment in sharp focus, many states responded with orders and requests to health insurance companies that should help consumers through the pandemic. The Federal Families First Coronavirus Response Act, passed on March 18, 2020, requires health insurance companies to waive cost-sharing charges for FDA-approved COVID-19 testing. This law says that cost sharing should be waived for telehealth services, in-person doctor visits, an urgent care center, and emergency room visits related to COVID-19 testing. The federal law applies to health insurers that offer individual and group health plans. Before the federal law, many states were taking action to give consumers better access to testing treatment, early prescription refills, and telehealth. It is emphasized that Many states will be requiring health insurers to waive cost-sharing charges for a coronavirus vaccine. Joining us now is Emmanuel Matthews, a healthcare management consultant. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. You work in the health organization but have experience in practice of community medicine. How do you see health insurance complementing the development of our health sector, especially in the context of COVID-19? Um, good morning. Yes, um, health insurance, um, like you compare to um, most European and American um, states, is far important in Nigeria in terms of looking at how this will complement the development of health care sector generally. Uh, but you need to dial the clock back a little bit. Um, health insurance, as we know it in Nigeria, is not as developed as it would be. And um, obviously, COVID-19 is something that was not um, fashioned or put in anybody's minds before now. Hence, um, uh, health insurance companies in Nigeria, I can tell you, are not prepared, neither are the healthcare providers adequately prepared to cope with this. Looking forward, in the context of this whole pandemic, how would health insurance work? I can tell you, probably 100%, if not 99 plus health insurance um, packages we have in Nigeria will have no element, no factor in of any pandemic, be it Ebola, Lassa, or obviously coronavirus. And that puts a lot of burden on the state, on the individuals that have health insurance. And as you know, um, it's only a very, very small percentage of Nigerian population, probably about four or five percent, that has any form of health insurance. You're looking at about probably eight to nine million people in total in Nigeria that have or would have any sort of private or corporate um, health insurance um, program. And um, that causes a, a major challenge on its own. If you want to look at look at it from a, a pandemic um, level, means people with COVID-19 that have health insurance will have no cover, full stop. And um, those that even would have, I would say, a medium level or corporate type um, insurance policy do not and uh, will not be covered. Hence, most people will have to pay out of pocket, which is um, the, 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 the fundamental um, challenge we'll have, we have in the health insurance uh, structure of Nigeria. Just to uh, interject. Yeah? Um, what are the three aspects that need addressing when it comes to access to affordable health care? Generally, the, the number of aspects, but the key here is um, cost affordability, accessibility, and um, availability. Is it affordable? How many people can afford health insurance at a level that will provide more than primary health care? When I mean primary health care, you're looking at your general home level type um, care. And um, are they, is it available? Health care is not generally available as we will look at it in Nigeria. And um, where it's available, you know, it, it's not accessible in the sense that uh, most people can't afford or access 
the level of care they need for um, treatment generally, apart from the state hospitals and the tertiary hospitals, which are grossly underfunded, and obviously most private hospitals are you know, significantly out of reach for a vast majority of the population as a result of affordability costs, even though they are incorporated. Um, form of um, health covers and things like that are unable to access good healthcare facilities because their premiums, their insurance coverage, will not and cannot afford to send them to those hospitals. Hence, uh, you know, they do patronize uh, either public sector um, healthcare providers or um, a lower grade um, private hospitals, which have the relevance, and most of them, obviously, as you know and appreciate, over the past few years that I've been back in Nigeria, I'm finding that a significant amount of people do go through to, um, as I call them, community healthcare providers, and uh, including the pharmacies and the community healthcare workers that provide the basic healthcare needs to the vast majority of the population. So. Overall, you know, even where there is availability, you know, uh, possible availability, we don't even have the skill base set in most of our tertiary and, uh, of course, uh, private organizations to meet right. the more complex. Um, I hate to keep interrupting you, Doctor, but we're out of time for this segment of the news. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you.